Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing some of this lot, much to the delight of my wife. Okay, so what I've done is I've just randomly picked four boxes. Um, like I've said before um, in the preview video, on the last video I did, I get a lot of my stuff from ID Toys, um, Star Action Figures, and Hasbro Pulse. So I've had a lot of pre-orders come through. The thing is, because I've been leaving them for so long and not opening them up when they arrive, um, I've completely forgotten what's in what box. So, uh, like I said, I've just... Um, randomly picked four boxes so we'll get these open so I'll just move these ones out of the way so we start off with this one ah oh, okay yep yeah. So there we go. We've got the Boba Fett from Tatooine. Awesome. Um, I'm not going to open him and review him. I'm just basically going to um, open these up and uh, see what I've got. So that's that's one. Get this one open. Okay, got some more Star Wars bits here. Get the box out of the way. So who have we got? Okay, so we've got three of the Ark Troopers. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, currently I've only got one um, set of these. Um, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to get a second set or not so for the time being I'm going to keep these these on the card um, these are VC236 237 and 235 so I'll just get these out of the way get the next one in Okay. More Star Wars. That's just one. This is the Ark Trooper from the Clone Wars. Now I I do have um <clears throat> some more of these coming. Or they're here, I've just not opened them yet. Um I got something from eBay uh, a couple of weeks ago which I haven't opened yet, which uh will be another video, so that'll go quite nicely with that. So this is BC212. I should really be wearing my glasses. But, uh, yeah, there you are. And uh, this last one for the time being. Yep, more Star Wars. Get rid of that. What have we got here? Oh, okay, yeah, so I've got two Defending Charms. So one to uh, keep carded and one to uh, put on display. Yeah, so that's those four out of the way. So I can just get this, these boxes out of the way so it gives us a little bit more room, not too much room. So although I do collect other lines as well, uh, I predominantly collect Star Wars, and that's uh, as they say, the bread and butter of my collecting. So just to uh, give you a little glimpse here, oops, of what's come through so far. Yeah, and then 
I'll just have them on the side there. So yeah, it's not a bad, a bad little haul. Quite happy with that. Like I say, I, I do collect other lines like Master of the Universe, um, G.I. Joe Classifieds, Transformers and Marvel. But my, like I say, my main bread and butter is, um, is Star Wars. So uh, yeah, quite happy with this lot so far. So some of these will be um, kept on the card and others will be opened. See, I, I'm not too sure about this. I mean, it's a great looking figure by all accounts, but... Does that really constitute being a deluxe uh, figure and a higher price point? Um, in my opinion, no. Um, yeah, I, I think I've just got the one of these. There's, there's no point having uh, figures like this boxed. You might as well open them up. You can't see them anyway. You keep these carded. That, that, that kind of figure, because you can see them in the bubble and stuff like that. And... Yeah, that's a, another debate, isn't it, with the with the plastic free? Um, I do have have thoughts on that, but um, let's just have a look. You see, well, I, I don't understand. They, they're saying about having loads of plastic, and they want to cut down on plastic. What? Just have the bubble, and the figure in the card, and and don't have the inner tray. That's cutting back on plastic. They used to do it for the. Um, Vintage collection line, the original uh, Star Wars trilogy. So just have a smaller bubble and then have the weapons sellotape to the side or tape to the side like they did back in the old days. If you've got like a little um, head there, then they do what they did with uh, the Princess Leia uh, boost disguise where they just had a little separate bit up here for the for the, for the helmet. But uh, yeah, I was going to say that's, that could have been one way of doing it. I think it'd be a shame if they did get rid of um, the bubbles totally, but there you go. What can you do? So yeah, that's just this um, a quick episode on unboxing those. Not too sure where I'm going to have room to uh, display these at the moment because uh, I'll just pan around. Pretty much out of space at the moment so this is all my, my modern day stuff here and I'll just pan around a little bit more and I'll zoom in there you go Ooh, there you are. that's all my five POA style figures there oh, I do like the five POA I have to say Yeah, so that's just a, a quick video, guys, on uh, on these bits. I do have a, a bit of a dilemma. I'll probably address that in another a video and, and do a separate video on that. But, um, yeah, I'll get these um, put away and uh, try and make some of them. Well... Thank you for watching, guys. That'll be all, all for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. Okay, that's going to do for today, guys. Just a quick one. Thanks a lot, and take care.